Hey, I'm William. Today, I'm going to show you how to test the heating element on a GE dryer that stops the auto cycle too soon. The heating element generates the heat needed to dry the laundry inside the dryer. Now, before we get started, hit those like and subscribe buttons if you want to join our do-it-yourself repair community and get notified each time we post a new video guide. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. First, we'll need to get our tools together. Today, we'll need a multimeter and a Phillips screwdriver. And please remember that safety comes first. Always disconnect your dryer by unplugging it or switching the breaker off. Now let's get started. To test the heating element, we're gonna use our Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws at the top of the front panel, just behind the door. Now we're gonna lift the top panel up just a bit so we can clear the console legs and pull it forward. We're gonna remove the Phillips screws that are found at each back corner of the front panel. Once we've done that, we can lift the front panel up, rotate it to the side, and disconnect the door switch wires. Then we can set the front panel to the side. With that moved out of the way, we're going to reach under our drum, and we're going to disconnect the belt from the belt pulley. Once that is disconnected, we're going to go ahead and lift up on the belt and use it to assist in pulling the drum forward and out. Now we can set that to the side as well. Now that we're in the dryer, next up is the heating element, which needs to be tested for continuity. We're testing from the terminals on the element to the housing to find out if it's grounded out. This can cause the element to overheat enough to trip the high limit thermostat. If you get continuity here, then the element would need to be replaced. If there's no continuity, the element is good and something else may be causing the problem. When that's all set, we're gonna install the drum and belt. This can be a little difficult, so make sure to get the belt firmly on the motor pulley. Then grab the front panel. We're gonna connect the door switch wires and then set the front panel onto the dryer. We need to secure it with the screws we removed earlier. Now we're gonna slide the top panel on the console legs, rotate the top panel down, and then secure it with the long Phillips screws we removed from behind the door. Don't forget to plug the dryer back in or flip the circuit breaker back on. If your heating element is good, you can check out our other troubleshooting guides to find out what may be causing your dryer's auto cycle to stop too soon. We've got thousands of videos to help you diagnose your appliances and make repairs. If your heating element is bad, you can order a replacement at appliancepartspros.com so you can repair it yourself. Make sure to let us know how the repair went in the comments. If you like this video, let us know by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you next time.